we're going to be constantly vigilant in this scenario. Fortunately, Judge Rice agreed with us that we are uh, that we needed an injunction to protect access to mifepristone in our 18 and states. So we're confident that the FDA will follow that injunction, will obey that injunction, and that access in our states will be protected regardless of what happens with the Texas case and the appeal to the Fifth Circuit. I wonder both what's making you so confident in that assessment and also when you say you're going to remain vigilant, what that actually looks like in practice. Right. Well, we're confident that our injunction will remain in place because the Fifth Circuit has no authority to overturn an injunction issued by a federal court in Washington. So the order that Judge Rice issued protects access in the 18 plaintiff states in our case, which are not parties to the Texas case. In terms of remaining vigilant, what I mean by that is we will monitor all of the developments that have to do with access to mifepristone as it affects our states. And if there's ever a threat to access, we will act in you know any way that our power allows us to do to protect access in our states. Let me the sit. ultimate goal of our, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I wanna hear what the ultimate goal is and then I'll ask, go ahead. You bet. The ultimate goal of our lawsuit is to expand access to mifepristone. It is one of the safest drugs out there. It's demonstrably safer than Tylenol. But for a long time, the FDA has had restrictions on this drug that make it very difficult to prescribe and dispense and for patients to obtain it. So ultimately, what we're seeking in our lawsuit is not only to protect access to this critical drug that women need for health care, but to expand access and make it easier for doctors to prescribe the drug just like they would prescribe any other prescription medication. Here's the thing I want you to help me understand, which is abortion access has become increasingly complicated since the fall of Roe. And when it comes to this widely used safe medication, these rulings out of Texas and out of your state, Washington, I would argue that they make things murkier. Before the Texas ruling even dropped, you had a ruling we expected. Could, could the Justice Department or the FDA do anything ahead of that decision to make rules on medication abortion access more clear, to prevent conflicting state laws on mifepristone, given that the murkiness is part of the challenge here? I agree that the murkiness is part of the challenge. Um, and I, you know, the FDA is in a position where they are a party to this case in Texas that has um, resulted in this really terrible outcome, in my opinion. But we are confident that the FDA uh, will continue to defend its very strong position in that case. And we're hopeful that the Fifth Circuit will objectively apply the law and overturn turn that Texas decision and restore the clarity and certainty that access to mifepristone is available in states where uh, abortion is accessible.